Dr. Klinghardt is one of many experts who believe that the antioxidant effects of melatonin exceed the ones of glutathione, by far. Most people believe that glutathione, which is also called the master antioxidant, has the highest antioxidant properties. But it turns out that this is melatonin, especially high dosages of melatonin. In the following, Dr. Klinghardt explains how melatonin works as an antioxidant and why it is so important. He says, the worst that can happen in inflammation is the production of peroxynitride. This is when calcium enters your cells. This leads to cell death, and the only thing that can stop this is melatonin. It is an antidote for peroxynitride. Have a listen. Now, here's the big one I wanted to almost spent the last few minutes with the melatonin. Melatonin is completely misunderstood and underrated. Melatonin is the principal antioxidant used in the brain and in the central nervous system. It is not glutathione. Yeah, it's not all the antioxidants that people talk about. It is melatonin. And melatonin is produced in every cell in the body, but in the brain the predominant place is the pineal gland but our whole gut microbiome, when it's healthy, produces about 400 to 4,000 times more uh, melatonin than the brain does. But it does it at noontime. And so there is a German researcher who heals pretty much any neurological disease just with one tool, and that is melatonin. But this is not two or three milligrams. This is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, up to 6,000 milligrams. The ALS, we give 6,000. Uh, with most the common the children get 80 milligrams. That's a working dose. Most adults need a lasting dose of about 300. It's the anti-aging tool for the older folks here. I, I notice a few of you are over 60, which I'm always happy. We give it transdermally. That's the trick. The transdermal melatonin is given between dinner and bedtime, an hour or two before sleep time, does hardly increase change your sleep. Uh, most people don't feel any change initially. Um, but what it does is phenomenal. Those of you know a little bit of biochemistry, the, the, the worst thing that happens in inflammation uh, in neurological illness is the creation of peroxynitride. You know, the electrosmog, Marty Paul wrote this beautiful paper that shows the, the Wi-Fi exposure triggers an influx of calcium into your brain cells. And calcium triggers an inflammatory process in the cells that creates, ultimately at the end point, a substance called peroxynitride, which completely destroys the cell. And melatonin is the antidote for peroxynitride, but not in two or three milligrams. You know? But if you give 200 or 300, you stop any neurological disease. That's a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. So. Um, this is just, um, you, you can combine it, uh, yeah, so there is an article on melatonin and retroviral infection. Um, they like to combine it with DHEA, you know, it's also easy to get here. Um, it's a phenomenal, simple treatment, inexpensive. I can take you through some of the, the studies, you know, but uh, um, I, I highlight it here. So one, it's an anti-infectious agent, and so we use it for, for Lyme disease. Um, it uh, induces autophagy, that means that dead cells are eaten up in the body without having to fast, which I hate fasting. Um, it's fantastic for gum, chronic gum disease. Um, and here's the article on the melatonin delivery using transdermal ways of doing that. Um, uh, then here, melatonin as an antioxidant under promises but over delivers. It is much more effective than any other antioxidant. And then a fantastic antiviral. Um, and then, of course, um, what is long known is also fantastic as an um, anti aging tool you know, to keep your brain fresh and intact. Thanks for watching.